Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. This is build number two in lockdown number two. We're on a four week lockdown, supposedly, here in the UK. Throughout the whole of November, basically. And today's date is the 9th of November. And I'm going to build this Swift EDF powered glider, which is by Top RC Hobby. And this is one of the purchases from Banggood. Enough of that, let's get this laid out and we'll start the build. Well, I don't know what took you so long to get here. Um, I've already started on this. And what I've done is added my little Hobby King black stripes underneath. I thought I'd be a bit creative with this lot. So I've got the two broad ones, slightly smaller, and then two individual ones. And I've repeated that on the other wing as well. Slightly change the angle because the first job is to join these two wings together. So the easiest way to do this is to join those two together and then I'm going to use the screws that you would normally use to screw the wing on to join those two up and to hold them in place which is easier said than done I might add there, that one's through there so that's keeping the wings together so I can flip it upside down because here, I need to put this board, like that, and the EDF unit then goes on. No gluing, just screwing. Right, we're now doing the horizontal stabiliser. Go. So what I've done is pushed it as far as it will go down there. That's it, I can't do anything else. So I'm now going to screw these two screws up. There you have it. This is not a build, it's, it is definitely an assembly and it's so quick. If I wasn't making the video, it'd all be finished. But there we are. So the next thing I've got to do is to assemble the main wings to the fuselage. So just before I connect those up, the only little job I need to do is to attach this wire lead. I'm also testing the ailerons. And they've got good movement. And they centre very nicely. And they are actually centred, which is good. they will also test that the Y lead works, because I have had a Y lead that has caused me lots of problems in the past. So I've now got to connect the wings. Right, see 
Obviously this just needed to come through there so I can put my four channels. Excellent, I do have a four channel receiver AR410 I need to find some use for. Mm. Canopy covers up the screw there. Yeah, that's it, built. See what it's like underneath. Yeah, I might just put some clear tape over here. I've got some white tape coming actually, I might put some white tape over there. We'll find everything's good. I'm gonna tape. I'm gonna tape over here because I don't want these screws coming loose and falling out. Check those, haven't I? Make sure that they operate correctly. So that's level. straight to me that's about it I'll trim those up later I've got to get the centre of gravity between 60 and 80 millimetres from the leading edge, which is pretty straightforward. And it goes straight. From here. I'll just measure it back. Well, she's all done. So you've got the top RC Hobby Swift. Packs I can use on it, I'm using this Zippy Compact 4 cell 2200. Put in the nose in the right place, it balances out at 70 millimeters. Now the CFG range is from 60 to 80, so having it 70, it's right smack in the middle of that range. I can't bring it any further forward because the battery is right at the front. If I wanted it at 60, I'd have to add weight. Four screws you have to put in, two for the EDF unit to hold it in place, two to hold the wings in place. And then there are little screws but they're already in the tailplane. No external servos at the back, it's all clean. And there are some external push rods on the underside for the ailerons, but they're covered. And it's got some great big ailerons as well. I'm really looking forward to putting this one in the air. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you on another video. Cheers!